Hello, my name is James Flores and I'm Australia's favourite internet organist. Today is going to be a talking video and it was inspired by the illustrious Fraser Gartshaw. Fraser is a phenomenal improviser. You can see that's pretty phenomenal. In both the classical and theatre organ style, boogie woogie style. If you haven't seen any of his videos, check a link to his channel in my video description. And he does talking videos like this as well, and which has inspired me to, to do this little lone talking video of myself uh, in relation to organ playing. And this is not from a textbook or anything. It's just going to be from my own experiences. In my experience, Nick, lessons not learned in blood are soon forgotten. And I thought I would share it with you, which may help you in your organ playing. And I'm going to be talking about how to make your organ playing more exciting. So. Uh, we've all heard organ performances where, I hate to say it, but even my own, uh, boring. And what makes it boring? Or how can we make it more exciting? And it was so boring. Well, I'm going to talk to you about three things, very briefly. Number one, articulation. Articulation is the way we play the notes and the way we phrase our notes. Because... If we just play them all as written without any thought to them, it's boring. We have to um, phrase and articulate how we play pieces of repertoire or improvisations. And that not just applies to the manuals, also applies to the pedal board. And I myself often forget that too. We have to phrase in the pedals as well. And of course, on the organ to phrase, um, we can't control the attack as such, well, in a way, on a, on a um, mechanical instrument, but we're more focused on how we release the notes. Release them. Because we are simply pressing a key and that lets air into the pipe. So we can only control the duration of the note. And that's how we create accents. Accents being if we hold the note longer than Yes, the subsequent notes, then we generate um, a listener's perspective of the accent. So yes, focus on articulation. Uh, the second way to make your organ playing more exciting, second way, is to delay. And what do I mean by delay? Um, delaying is, um, suppose we have a, a cadence point in a Bach prelude or a fugue, and we're running along and then we come to this ginormous conclusion of a phrase, dominant tonic. And if we just, you know, went through the motions, played all the notes, and then just went bang, bang. We can't just go through the motions this time, Charlie. Well, that's not very exciting, isn't it? You know, it's played, it's played right, but if we delay that, um, the way we play the cadence, or do a slight allegando, slight broadening up to the up to the cadence point, um, it makes it a little bit more exciting. It has more tension, has more excitement. And that's something I've learned by listening to my playing. So next time you listen to a piece of music and um, really think about how is this, is this piece of music exciting to you? Um, how is the player making the music exciting? And you realize that um, a lot of it is shaping the music and delaying these these juicy cadences juicy junior real juicy <laughs> uh and when i say delaying um you can't keep doing the same type of delaying all the time because it becomes predictable and that that leads into my third point which is called surprising and uh delaying comes is related to surprising as i said um, can't be too predictable as well. Um, and you can't be too different. It's got, it's got to be balanced. You can't be this way all the way. You can't be that way all the way. You've got to be balanced, you know, and slight deviations in between. Surprising, surprising. Surprising, that's all. How do we surprise the listener? Well, uh, one way is using um, a different registration. Um, just think about when you listen to someone play a piece of music that you play, 
and they use a different registration, you're like, wow, you know, that's interesting. But it kind of it surprised me and it's surprised me in a good way. But again, don't go too far this way or too far that way. Um, maintain some sort of some sort of balance that's not too obscure. Surprising. Uh, registration, yes. And basically what I mean by surprising is to put your own musicality into it. Don't play it the way that other people play it because you'll sound like them. Play it how you would play it and how, um, how it speaks to you, how it resonates to you. You mean you understand what he says when he speaks to you? And that's kind of my mantra now with what I put on my channel. Um, I have started to just play music that resonates with me. And that's how I can connect with it. And if you can connect with a piece of music, um, that, and if you really truly like a piece of music, it comes out um, and the viewer and the listener can really feel that. So make sure you really connect with a piece of music. Um, so you can surprise your listener in your interpretation. So let me recap the three ways to make your organ playing more exciting. The James Flores non-textbook version, just my own made up three points. Number one is articulation. Number two, delaying, delaying cadences, delaying the inevitable. And number three is surprising the listener. Hope that helped. Um, if you've got any other questions or comments or criticisms, happy to take them, leave them down in the comments. And that's all for now, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now.